Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we are going to discuss the warning signs or danger signs not to ignore during pregnancy. Most of the symptoms women experience during pregnancy are normal. Even if they are not exactly comfortable, they are simply the result of being pregnant. Still, it's easy to worry and wonder whether everything is okay and how to know if it's not. Although true complications are rare, it's always good to know what to look out for. Pregnancy Symptoms Note to Ignore in Early Pregnancy Number 1. Vaginal Spotting Early on the pregnancy, it can be normal to experience spotting that's known as implantation bleeding. However, in some cases, there could be spotting or bleeding due to more serious conditions like an ectopic pregnancy, a molar pregnancy, or a cervical infection. Contact your healthcare provider if the spotting is heavy and is accompanied by other symptoms like abdominal or pelvic pain, extreme lightheadedness, or shoulder pain. Persistent or severe vomiting. Vomiting along with nausea can be completely normal first trimester symptoms. It's more commonly known as morning sickness, but it doesn't necessarily appear only in morning. If, however, your morning sickness is severe, it may be a rare condition called hyperemesis gravidarum, which requires medical attention after the first trimester. If you experience vomiting, consult your healthcare provider to rule out anything serious and to treat the nausea. Ulk to pee or burning sensation while you urinate. If you feel an increased ulk to pee but find only a few drops come out or if you have a burning sensation while you urinate, it may be a sign of a urinary tract infection. Other symptoms of UTI can include fever, chills, a blood tinged urine. Your provider will be able to diagnose your symptoms and treat the bacterial infections to avoid complications. Dizziness or faintness. Feeling lightheadedness can be normal symptoms early in your second trimester. You might also feel dizzy later during pregnancy due to things like circulation problems or low blood sugar levels. However, if this feeling of dizziness persists, if you feel faint or actually do faint, or if your dizziness is combined with other symptoms like blurred vision, vaginal bleeding, headache, or pain in your abdomen, consult your healthcare provider so that a cause can be identified and treated. Pregnancy symptoms not to ignore in mid to late pregnancy. Lower abdominal pain. It's natural to wonder about abdominal pain during your pregnancy. Keep in mind the discomfort associated with round ligament pain, for example, may be a perfectly normal. This will feel like a dull ache or sharp pain on either side of your belly. Most noticeable when you cough or sneeze. However, abdominal pain possibly campaigned by fever or chills may be a sign that there is something wrong. In this case, it's best to contact your healthcare provider. Raising heart. It's normal for your heart to beat faster during pregnancy. In fact, your heart pumps up to 30 to 50 percent more blood when you are pregnant compared to when you are not pregnant. This is so that your baby receives the appropriate amount of oxygen and nutrients through the placenta. However, if you feel that your heart rate is staying elevated and or you have shortness of breath, contact your healthcare provider right away. Swear headaches. Headaches during pregnancy can be caused by many factors including hormonal changes, stress, and fatigue. However, if your headache feels where it may be a sign of high blood pressure or the high blood pressure disorder called preeclampsia, which is a serious condition that can occur after 20 weeks of pregnancy or even after childbirth. It requires medical treatment to protect your health and the health of your baby. Changes in eyesight. Change in vision, such as temporary loss of vision, blood vision, or light sensitivity may be linked to complications like gestational hypertension or preeclampsia. Unusual weight gain or swelling or puffiness. Sudden large weight gain is linked to the possibility of preeclampsia. You may notice this weight gain is combined with swelling mean edema of the face and hands. Remember some swelling of your feet or hands may be normal but should be monitored. 
Swear pain above the stomach under the rib cage. Stomach pain during your pregnancy may be a sign of high blood pressure and associated conditions called preeclampsia mentioned here. Your healthcare provider will monitor your blood pressure during prenatal visits, but if you notice any of the signs of preeclampsia, then contact your provider right away. Vaginal discharge. You will experience more vaginal discharge than you did before you were pregnant. This is usually a sticky, clear, a wide discharge caused by changes in your vagina and cervix. However, you would be experiencing a vaginal infection if the color is not clear or white, if it has a bad odor, and if it is accompanied by pain, soreness, or itchiness. Lower back pain. It's normal to experience lower back pain in later months of your pregnancy. After all, your body is getting closer to delivery and the ligaments in your pelvis are losing in order to make the passage of your baby easier. Sciatica can also cause pain in the lower back or your growing uterus puts pressure on your sciatic nerve. In this case, you may feel pain in your lower back, hip and back of the leg. If you are also experiencing numb feet or weakness in your leg or you have swear pain in your calf, contact your healthcare provider. Feeling your baby move less often. Women often begins to feel the baby fluttering, kicking or turning some time between 18 to 25 weeks of pregnancy. Once you are well into the third trimester, your provider will ask you to monitor your baby's movement by tracking how long it takes to feel 10 kicks, rolls or flutters. It may take only a few minutes, but if an hour passes without any movement, eat a light snack, lie back down and try again. You can keep track of these movements in a notebook. If you notice an absence of movement or if your baby isn't moving as much as usual over several days, call your healthcare provider to double check everything is progressing well. Vaginal bleeding. Vaginal bleeding during your third trimester can become serious, which is why it's very important to let your healthcare provider know right away. Bleedings can be sign of placenta previa, which is when the placenta covers the cervix of placenta abruption, which is when the placenta begins to separate from the walls of the uterus. Itching all over. Intense itching that isn't paired with a rash may be a condition commonly known as cholestasis of pregnancy, which is a liver condition that can occur in late pregnancy. Contact your healthcare provider right away if you have noticed extreme itchy feeling. Remember, having itchy skin during pregnancy can also be completely normal. This is because your baby grows, your skin stretches. As your skin stretches, it can become dry, causing areas like your belly, breast, and thighs to itch. Preterm uterine contractions. These sensations can be perfectly normal or Brixton Hicks contractions. However, if your contractions persist and become painful or regular, it may be a sign you are in preterm labor. In this case, it is very important to contact your healthcare provider right away. Gush or trickle of fluid from your vagina. Premature rupture of membrane, also known as water breaking, can show up as a trickle. As TD leaking or as a gush of fluid from your vagina before your pregnancy is full term, call your healthcare provider right away if you notice this. Once you are full term, your water breaking is sign the labor has started. You may experience light spotting or a pink or slightly bloody discharge. This may be an early sign of labor indicating that the cervix has started to dilate and mucus plug that seal itself has begun to loose. If the bleeding is very heavy, however, contact your healthcare provider right away. So, these are the eye signs and symptoms that should be noticed and not to be ignored. Hope you have find this video useful. Like it, share it and also subscribe our channel for such precious videos. Thank you.